in Utah. Do not go anywhere. Mountain West Network on Campus Insiders. The opening kick between the Wildcats and the Aggies is next. Welcome back to Logan, Utah. Getting set for opening night in the Mountain West. Matt Wells looking on. We are at Maverick Stadium in Logan, Utah. The Wildcats and the Aggies to kick off the season. This is the first ever college football game streaming live on Twitter. Mount West is so excited about bringing in new audience to appreciate college football in the Mountain West. Darius, take us through the keys for Weber State. Weber State is going to be that quarterback play. Can they get in and get into a good rhythm on offense? And then, as usual, with every game, you got to stop the run. We talked about Demonte Mays at the top for the Aggies. He's a good player. Weber State Wildcats got to slow him down. And now we flip it and look to the keys to the game for Utah State. We mentioned Kent Myers at the top and how he's taking over the reins of Chucky Keaton. But in order to make things easier for him, they got to run the football. And that goes back to Devontae Mays and what he's been able to do. But on the defensive side of the ball, they had a couple players drafted in the third round, Nick Vigil and Kyler Frackwell. So the new faces on defense are going to have to step up and play. It'll be interesting to see how they come in and, and perform. And also, there's just that opening night factor that you just want to make sure everybody's in position. Everybody knows where they're supposed to be on the field. I mean, opening night does have some variables that you don't have in week two. Yeah, it certainly does. But also the excitement, and you got to get over those first game jitters. You're so used to training camp and playing against yourself in practice, playing against your teammates, maybe not going as hard or, or as you possibly would during the game. So I'm sure the guys are all ready to get involved with this game and play tough against a new opponent. Maverick Stadium is rocking, and they strike the stadium. There are blue sections, there are white sections. Eric Wilkes is back deep for the Wildcats. College football, Mount West. Here we go, 2016. Line drive kick, and Wilkes is going to have to field it at his own one. And Wilkes will be stopped at the nine-yard line. Great special teams play there from Utah State. Definitely not the way you want to start for Weber State with the fumble or the drop on the kickoff return there. See so if they can't get things going on offense here early. All right, in games like this, the line of scrimmage is so important early on especially when you talk about first game of the season and being able to play tough and being able to run the football. Weber State's got to come out and control that line of scrimmage in order to give themselves an opportunity to get a shot of their quarterback, Jadarian Clark. He's a senior who played really well. Senior quarterback always helps when you're on the road opening night. Make sure everybody is where they need to be. And they start out with the ground game, get a good push up front. Treshawn Garrett, the ball carrier, sophomore from Palmdale, California. Take a look at the Weber State lineup, Darius. Take a look at this offensive line. You got Pepeta. But the, the big two here is Cameron Young and Calvin Stein, number 74 and number 73. Both of these guys are preseason all-conference. Let's take a look at the skill positions here for Weber State. We talked about Eric Wilkes a little bit. He's going to be their starting running back, and their quarterback, Jadrian Clark. He's really good. Weber State coming off a 6-5 season when they won four of their last six. Clark eludes the pressure, and he's still brought down behind the line of scrimmage. Lost of a couple, and we'll take a look at the defense. Take a look at the defense here for the Aggies up front. You got Ricky and Ian, both those defensive ends. They play really well on the move. Look for them to move around a little bit on that defense and at the next level. Got to love what Larson has been able to do with outside linebacker. And then on the back end, Jalen Davis. He's a good player, 51 tackles last year. He, he's also a return specialist. So we'll see him return some kicks as well. Third down, third and six, opening series. Opening night, Mountain West football. That ball is snapped. Clark wasn't expecting it. And then it's incomplete. And there you see some of that opening game. Just a little unsure, the ball gets snapped. Clark just gets rid of it, and the Wildcats will be forced to punt. Classic case of your quarterback and your center not being on the same page. Clark is making an audible there, and Larson snaps the football anyway. 
But those are some of those miscues that you hope don't happen in first in the first game of the season. But sometimes they do. Makes it a three and out situation for the Wildcats. Andrew Rodriguez is back deep for the Aggies. He's a solid punt return guy. Averaged almost 10 yards of return, takes it off the bounce. Rodriguez tries to get to the outside, and Rodriguez inside the 40, and forced out of bounds inside the 35. So great field position coming up for Utah State. It's all about your playmakers making plays when they have to. Rodriguez is a starting wide receiver. He's their leading wide receiver coming back, but you see him having an impact on special teams as well, right up the sideline. Excellent field position for the Aggies. 22 yards on the return for Rodriguez. And we will look at Kent Myers, the junior from Texas. 10 and four as a starter for Utah State. They love this guy. Got a great personality, great leader. And with no more Chucky Keaton, it's his team. Devontae Mays. And it's a quarterback keeper. And Kent Myers making people miss inside the 20. He shows off that dual threat capability. And this is what it's all about in terms of getting your quarterback's confidence up. Put the ball in his hand and, let, and allow him to use his athleticism. Fake it there and then right to that edge. And that edge is going to be key for the Wildcats in order to be able to stop them on the edge. That was Junior Latu, number 93, the defensive end. You have to keep the ball inside. 16 yards on the carry, and now Myers is lined up. They're out of the Wildcat. It's Devontae Mays. And Devontae Mays inside the five. Still fight. He's in. Touchdown, Aggies. What a complete drive for the Aggies here. They sent Kent Myers out in motion. Wildcat for DeMonte Mays right around the corner and into the end zone. Ari, this happens sometimes in game one because you don't have a lot of film to watch on the other team. So you don't know about these trick plays. You haven't seen them. So excellent job by Matt Wells and his staff to dial up a trick play and for DeMonte Mays to take us to the house. Extra point is up and it is good. Solid start for Utah State. The defense and special teams established great field position. And then Devontae Mays, 18 yards into the end zone. Aggies lead early, 7 0. Welcome back to Maverick Stadium. Terrific start for Utah State. And this is how they got the touchdown. Going Wildcat, Darius. in order to get to the end zone. But I love DeMonte Mays and what he's been able to do his entire career. You see that explosion there. That's the difference between him and other backs, especially around the country, is that explosion, that second gear, that, able to, that ability to be able to take it to the house. Jake Thompson the kick, and no chance at a return for Eric Wilkes. Second offensive series coming up for the Wildcats. And they had some first game moments in their opening drive. Let's see if they can settle down this time. And they'll have better field position to start with at the 25. Right, we saw the miscue on the snap between Clark and Larson. Quarterback and his center not on the same page. Sometimes those first game jitters manifest themselves in that way. Let's see if the Wildcats can't get out and try to get some momentum going here on offense. Clark, the senior from Lakeland, Florida. Started all 11 games a year ago. And they fake the reverse and give it to Garrett. No place to go. Maybe a gain of a half a yard. Want to remind everyone, history in the making tonight. Digital history. Mount West, first ever college football game streaming live on Twitter. So hello to the Twitter world. Hope we're welcoming in lots of new people to appreciate the Mount West. So here we go, second down for Weber State. Clark rolls out, completes it, gets it to the tight end. And a first down 
Andrew Volert makes the catch. Junior from San Mateo, California. It's a nice job by Clark capitalizing on the blitz. The Aggies brought Levitt, number two, their safety. They brought him on a blitz, which allowed this outside to be open. The tight end, Satuwala, with a nice catch, a nice pickup yards after making the catch and securing the catch. And that's going to be an interesting thing to watch, Ari, is the, is the tight end, Satuwala. When you look at him against this sort of inexperienced linebacking core that the Aggies have since they lost two picks or two special players last year, It'll be an interesting matchup to watch all game. Treshawn Garrett, the tailback. He's got the football, makes a nice cut, and gets it up to the 42-yard line. How important is it for this FCS team to do well on first down to not put themselves in second and long? It's not just the FCS team, that's any team. You want to get yourself in a second down and manageable situation so you're not so, so everyone knows what you're going to do. You're not so predictable. So you can do that when you have a, a good first down drive. Now this is a place, middle of the field, second down. This is a time to, to potentially take a shot. You can take a shot down, allow Clark to air it out, see what happens. Play action, Clark going deep down the field. There's a lot of contact and a fight for the football, and it's incomplete. Almost picked off. That ball hung in the air for a long time. Jalen Davis, their outstanding junior corner, in on the play. He was oh. honorable mention all Mountain West a season ago. Yeah, that's Livingston one-on-one -on -one with Davis, and you're right. There was a lot of touchy-feely there. <laughs> no call one way or the other. Davis almost had the pick there. He had three last season. He did a nice job of boxing out Livingston that time, almost like a basketball rebound. He's got a ton of experience, Davis. Started as a true freshman, now a junior. Third down. Clark's going to get hit and sacked. They bring pressure, get to the quarterback. Brock Carmen, outside linebacker. He's going to come right up the middle. Nowhere for Clark to go with the football, but this happens, Are We talked about that first down and how important that is. Third down and five, it's a predictable situation. You know the quarterback's going to drop back and throw the football. You bring the house. They hit pay dirt that time with Carmen. Rodriguez back deep for the Aggies. Heinz to punt it away. Better punt this time. He really drives this football. There is a flag down. The kicker was hit on the play. Here comes Rodriguez. And Rodriguez, we're going to have to wait and see the penalty. The, the kicker is still down. Taylor Heinz. This is a scary moment here for the Wildcats. Take another look at this here. Kind of hard to see from that angle. It appeared the player did a pretty good job of avoiding the kicker, but then at that very last moment when he came down. Yeah, maybe he came down on him. Now, depending upon your viewpoint here. Levitt it, you was didn't, called you just for the flag. Didn't really see much contact there. There have been times and instances where kickers have been known to flop some. But this doesn't Let's seem to be the case. Let's take another look here. Well, he does come down, and his left foot gets run into. He's still down now. He is now. still down and being attended to by the training staff. As you're looking for a moment there at Jay Hill in his third season. And they have all new special teams. So this is a brand new punter, brand new place kicker. So if you're them, you got to think to yourself, we can't afford, we can't afford to lose anybody here. We don't have any experience at this position. We will take a break. Five minutes gone to the first quarter. Aggies up seven to nothing. Welcome back. Thursday night, first full weekend of college football is upon us. Thursday night opener for the Mountain West. Weber State at Utah State. First and 10 following the penalty on special teams. Clark's going to give it off to Wilkes, and Wilkes bounces off one tackler and picks up two yards. Tongiai makes the play. He is one of so many players in this game, Darius, from the state of Utah. 77 players combined on both rosters playing in this football-loving state of Utah. 
Guys like to stay home, are right? you know, they really do. Many players like to stay home, but these running backs for the Wildcats, this is the deepest position that they have. I mean, you got Wilkes, you got Garrett. We'll also probably see Zach Smith and Pooler as well. And the crazy thing is all four of those guys have run for more than 100 yards in a game in their career. So they do have great depth. That's a good issue to have at running back, the head coach Jay Hill. And a timeout called by the Wildcats. We'll take one with them. Utah State on an opening Thursday night. Having some fun. We were State figuring it out. We'll be right back. The best plays from the biggest games every Saturday, every week. Now that football season is here, don't forget Campus Insiders. He's your one-stop shop to rewind and replay the best action of the day. Well, Darius, it's such a fun time of year. I mean, everybody is undefeated. That's right. No one's lost a game yet. Second down for the Wildcats, their first trip into Aggie territory. And it's Garrett. And Garrett gets inside the 45-yard line. It's going to bring up third and five. Daniel Gray, senior corner, comes up to make the play. He's a transfer from Tennessee. Well, you so mentioned in the open, yeah, it's just having so many new guys out there. Yeah, that's the thing. That, that's what happens is you have these new guys, these new faces. You really don't know how they're going to perform under the lights. So you kind of scratch your head a little bit at times with some decisions that are made, things that happen. But overall, you really hope for the best for your players. You want to get that confidence going early in the season. Clark, blitz is coming. Clark delivers on time. Bowler again makes the play. That's two first down catches for the junior tight end. And they're all going to the tight end. Again, that matchup, the tight end versus the linebacking core that's slightly inexperienced. You'll see Voltner here. He's to the left. There was a trips on the left side of your screen there. Just a flat route by number 87. Nine Andrew yards Bowler. on the catch. He's done a nice job. So first and 10 at the 35. The end around. Denby, no place to go, and he'll go down. Big loss on the play, loss of eight yards. Levitt came up from his safety position, and they were not fooled. Levitt was certainly the X factor there. He's coming down from that safety position. They tried to go with a misdirection to get the defense's eyes looking in a different way. The Aggies not fooled whatsoever. And really, Brock Carmen was the one who disrupted the play the most, number 20, the outside linebacker. Got to keep those eyes. It's all about those eyes. Don't let that color fool you. That's what the coaches say. Don't let color crossing your face fool you. Keep those eyes on the ball, not in the backfield. Play action. Clark. And that throw, a little bit too high. Devin centers, senior leader at that safety position. The thing they love so much about centers, he can play any position in the secondary. Yeah, and he's got a nice size, too, at 5'9", 200 pounds. You like that at safety. He's sort of a ball hawk, meaning he knows how to be aggressive towards the football there. That's just a poorly thrown ball by Clark. Threw it behind his wide receiver and Drew Batchelor. That timing becomes an issue. Hate to go back to it. First game jitters. Sometimes it takes a little bit to get things rolling. Third and long. Pressure coming. Clark delivers. Denby makes the catch. He's at the original line of scrimmage. The 35-yard line is fourth down. Now keep in mind, all new special teams kickers. Taylor Heights is in the game to punt. DeMeo, the punter, was the punter who got hurt on the special teams play, which kept the drive alive. So Heights is in there, and he's normally the place kicker, but he is punting here. Redshirt freshman from Sandy, Utah. Real nice job, high kick. Rodriguez comes up, fair catch at the 14. Excellent job by the Aggies on defense there. You mentioned the, the special teams issue that happened with the punter being hit. Good job in stopping and not allowing that situation to turn into points for the Wildcats. 
Here's the offense, Darius. Take a look at the offense here for the Aggies. Their center, Austin Stevens, is really good. I like what he does when the ball is not in his hand. So after he snaps the football, what he can do as a blocker, he's really good in the skill positions. Can't say enough about DeMonte Mays. We've already seen him score one touchdown here today. Kent Myers has looked solid so far in his start. And he's taken over the range for Chucky Keaton. Interesting to see how he continues to build on his game. First time he's going to throw the football and delivers it. It's caught. Mitch Tulane with the tackle after a gain of two. Take a look at the defense. Take a quick peek at the Wildcats defense here. You look at that defensive line there. Murphy is a really good player. Satake, he's number 99 in that interior defense and at the second level. Trayvon Johnson really likes what, what I see on with him uh, on film and then at that next level. Taron Johnson, he's preseason all conference in the big sky. He's a good corner. It's the end around. That is well defended by the Wildcats. Lewis, the ball carrier, no place to go. Trayvon Johnson, outstanding senior linebacker, makes the play. It's a good job by Johnson coming up and making a play in space there. Love the fieriness, too, after the play. And one thing we should mention, too, the Wildcats, their leading tackler, Emmett Taylor, number eight, he's out today with an injury. They don't think it's serious, but he was not playing today. A, a total Landon of, yeah. Stice is going to get the opportunity for the start. Myers, shuffle pass. And it's a good one. Picks up an Aggie first down. Wyatt Houston, the tight end. Well-designed play. Nice job here by Myers. Sometimes it's really hard to make that pitch inside because you're just not used to doing that as a quarterback. Houston, but we've seen yeah, a couple yeah. of uh, trick plays here. Moving down that, that playbook, moving down in that playbook for, for Matt Wells and his staff. It's working so far. Myers the throw and in and out of the hands. Ball was on time and on target to Andrew Rodriguez. Now one thing that Kent Myers does especially well, and keep in mind he's 10 and four as a starter, is his completion percentage just under 63%. That's third best all time in school history. It's really good. He knows how to not make those crucial mistakes. When reading defense, it's as easy for a quarterback to take his eyes off of a backside safety, off a backside corner. That's when issues arise. Not so much for Kent Myers. On the ground, Devontae Mays, he picks up eight yards. Toya makes the tackle, the middle linebacker. Mays is so important to this offense, but what he does on the ground as a runner. Like, can we talk like combine stats? I mean, this guy's a freak of nature. He's a 41 inch vertical. It's pretty good. He can squat 515 pounds, Not and bad. he can bench 425. Not too bad. Not too shabby. It's Mays again, he cuts it back, good vision. Devontae Mays uses the stiff arm and gets across the 45. You'll hear coaches say this sometimes, Ari, where they say there's certain moves that a player makes that you just can't coach. It's really you either have an act to do it or you don't. Mays does in this, watch, he's gonna get this and then shifty right around, make a few guys miss, gets to the outside of that line. Oh, Myers, that ball was on the turf for a moment, so broken play there. Fortunate. Well, it was more of a disaster. Jonah Williams ends the play, gets the tackle for the Wildcats. A little more than four minutes to go. Opening night, Mountain West football for the first time ever. College football streaming live on Twitter. Our Wolf alongside Darius Walker and our Campus Insiders crew. Beautiful night in Logan, Utah. To give is to Mays. Mays got a good block from the fullback, and Mays the first down and more. Burton makes the tackle. Very, very good execution on that running play. When you see running backs running really well through big holes like that, if they're not doing it themselves. You got to give credit to the offensive line. But watch 45 here, the fullback come up and make that hit on the outside, which allows Mays to get around the corner and do what he does best. So they went no huddle again, and they pick up eight yards. And now seconded short. 
And you can't blame him here either, Ari. Right. Devontae Mays had to take a break. He had that whole tap the helmet real quick. Give me a blow, coach. Lindsey now in there at running back to the right of Myers. Myers has Rodriguez, and the ball was a little bit behind him. Had he put it on the other shoulder, he'd still be running. He would certainly still be running. That is a missed opportunity for Kent Myers and the Aggies. Andrew Rodriguez would have been streaking on that flat route. You just can't miss those opportunities, Ari, because you just don't get very many of them in the football game. You don't. Brings up a, a third and short here for the Aggies. Myers looks to throw, and that ball's batted, but caught. Aggie first down, they catch a break. Wyatt Houston, the tight end, right place at the right time. He was the intended target. <laughs> certainly he was. Landon Stice, number 45 here, is going to get his hands on the ball. He's backpedaling, but still able to catch the football. They try to teach you in practice, already to bat the football down instead of just tapping it. Try to bat it downward. So things like this don't happen. Lindsey, and Lindsey, nice burst. And he picks up nine yards on first down, and they're picking up big chunks in the ground game. Yeah, it's because of this offensive line, Ari. They're opening up holes, and these backs are really seeing it. They have the low center of gravity. They're able to see it fast. Looks like we may have an equipment issue of some sort. Or and Taryn Johnson, number 21. And the medical staff's going to come out. He looks woozy. I mean, the official's actually kind of holding him up there. We don't want to speculate, but he really just seems like he's not steady on his feet right now. He's a junior corner preseason all big sky. Yeah, sometimes you get shook up a little bit on a play. Underneath those piles, sometimes get hit in the head unexpectedly I hope that Johnson is okay because he is vital to this Wildcat defense well this is pretty cool at Maverick Stadium got it striping tonight one section blue another one white and I got to say we wondered how committed would the fans be I think they get an A I mean I see a couple of sprinkles in but that's yeah yeah a, tough, tough a, critic a, you are collectively A yes, yes. <laughs> an A minus A, a minus yeah, sounds okay. good A minus sounds good. I give an A Darius an A minus <laughs> It's pretty cool. All right, second and short for Utah State. Devontae Mays back in the game. Now, earlier in this drive, he went over 1,000 yards in his career. Mays averaging 12 yards a carry tonight. And it's Mays, good vision, bounces it to the outside. He'll take it for six. Touchdown, Aggies. Another Aggie touchdown. All right, coaches call this seeing the field, but this is a miscue right here for Jonah Williams, number 94. He's the defensive end at the top of your screen there. He bites inside, and you have to think that when you look at Jonah Williams, he's a freshman. You got a freshman out there playing in this atmosphere. That miscue from Jonah Williams leads to a touchdown. Another touchdown for DeMonte Mays and the Aggies. Brock Warren on for the extra point. It is up and it is good. Devontae Mays in the first quarter. Six carries, 79 yards, and two touchdowns. Mays gets to the outside. No one's going to catch him. 14 nothing. Aggie. Well, there you see. This game is on Twitter. First ever college football game streaming live on Twitter. And they've been treated to a fine performance in the opening quarter from Utah State's Devontae Mays. We knew what a stud he was. Boy, he's come out and delivered in the first quarter. He's been as good as advertised. We knew that he was explosive. We knew that he could make plays. But what's been interesting for the Wildcats is what they're doing on defense up front, allowing the running back, Devontae Mays, to get to the outside. He's going to kill them all game if they allow that. No return. Ball will come out to the 25-yard line. All right, you're Weber State. You're an FCS school playing in an FBS school on opening night. You're down 14-nothing. 
What does this offense need to do to stay on the field? A methodical drive is what they need. In order to do that, they got to get their quarterback, Clark, going. He hasn't had very many opportunities. We've seen a lot of pressure that the Aggies have been able to get on him. So they got to get his confidence going and get him moving in order to get some momentum on offense. They're not winning the line of scrimmage at this point. So when you're not winning the line of scrimmage, you got to start to air it out a little bit. And that's what the Wildcats need to do. Strength of their offensive line is the right side. Two seniors, and they go to the right side. And no place for Garrett to go. Ali Ifua makes the play, and he is a stud, number 95. He is the leader of this defense. We talk about the explosion of DeMonte Mays, the explosion of Ali Ufawa. He is really, really good, and he's explosive off the line of scrimmage. Hard to stop a big man like that, Ari. 280 pounds, 6'2", coming at you. Preseason all Mountain West, Ali Ifua. Second and 10. Keep it on the ground. Garrett, and he's going to get smothered after a gain of just a few inches. I'm sort of scratching my head again up here, Ari, with the play calling right now for the Wildcats because you haven't won the line of scrimmage all game. So far in this first quarter, they haven't been able to get much going on the ground up front. Ali Fuwa here, you see, I mean, this guy, the football. this guy is a true defensive end in every sense of where he can do it all. Complete player here as you look back at some of the things he accomplished in 2015. Third long for the Wildcats. Flag. Prior to the snap, false start, offense, number 74, five yard penalty, still third down. That's one of their captains, Cameron Young. They got the senior there. Stadium is really on edge right now. Sometimes those bright lights and all that sound and noise that the fans are making, that 12th man sometimes will get you. Third and long, if you're looking for a good deep threat, you're looking for number one, Cameron Livingston. He's at the top of the screen, number one. And that's the way Clark's looking. He has to avoid the sack. He loses the football and then recovers it. Travis Seafeld in on the play. Seafeld, incredible story. Paddling back from a horrific car accident. His Chevy Tahoe was hit by a semi and he was told he'd never play again. And he, instead, he's out there and he causes the fumble. What a moment for this redshirt senior to just be back out there playing. Got to be excited. And he talks about how much he appreciates the game even more now because you just never know what could happen on a day-to-day -day basis. But the Wildcats right now are struggling up front. Ari. They're going to let the first quarter expire, and they'll kick it from the other end. So opening night, Mountain West football. Mountain West Network on Campus Insiders. And also for the first time ever streaming live on Twitter. First quarter, all Utah State. They take a 14-0 lead into the second quarter. 